Let's tune the telescope into galaxies being born and oh my gosh who ordered this. We're finding galaxies in the dark ages. For as long as scientific inquiry has delved into the origins of our universe, the prevailing explanation has been the Big Bang Theory. Countless studies and the collaborative efforts of thousands of scientists have reinforced this theory, providing substantial evidence for how the universe came into being. However, the landscape of science today is markedly different from that of the past. Technological advancements continually usher in new theories and perspectives, challenging what we once considered indisputable truths. In this evolving scientific landscape, where new discoveries reshape our understanding of the cosmos, Neil deGrasse Tyson has become a prominent voice. Now, a groundbreaking development has come to light as the James Webb Space Telescope has unveiled a revelation that calls into question the long-standing Big Bang Theory. This discovery involves the detection of a staggering 750 new galaxies, each of which defies our previous expectations of what galaxies should be like. By the way, the James Webb Space Telescope was conceived and designed to help us understand the origin of galaxies, so we shouldn't be surprised that it's forcing us to scratch our heads. Join us as we explore how the new images from the JWST debunk the Big Bang Theory. With the discovery of 750 new galaxies, scientists have put forward the Big Bang Theory as the leading explanation for the origin of our vast universe. According to this theory, around 14 billion years ago, the universe came into existence through some sort of mysterious cosmic event. It's the ultimate birth story of the cosmos. The surprising nature of the images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope has challenged scientists' understanding of the universe's origins. The hypothesis that these images directly contradict is the Big Bang hypothesis, which has long been regarded as an unquestionable truth by the majority of cosmological theorists. These galaxies appear to be too small, too smooth, too old, and too numerous when compared to the eye of the Big Bang hypothesis. The small size of the observed galaxies entirely contradicts the expected behavior in an expanding universe. According to the hypothesis, as the universe expands, objects should appear larger with increasing distance. According to the Big Bang Theory, at the very beginning of the universe, all matter, energy, and the building blocks of the cosmos were compressed into an extremely tiny and highly concentrated point. This point is called a singularity. Within the singularity, all the matter and energy in the universe existed in an extraordinarily compressed form. The extreme density implies that an enormous amount of mass and energy was concentrated within an infinitesimally small space. The temperature within the singularity would exceed any temperature that can be observed or reproduced in our current understanding of the universe. The energy stored within this hot, dense point was the seed from which the entire universe would unfold, expansion. That's why the singularity marked the beginning of the universe as we know it. It was the origin from which everything in our cosmos came. After the initial singularity, the universe started the journey of expansion and inflation. This process occurred over the course of approximately 13.7 billion years, shaping the universe as we know it today. The expansion of the universe started with an extraordinary burst of rapid expansion known as cosmic inflation. During this phase, the universe expanded at an unimaginable rate, far exceeding the speed of light. It's like the fabric of space itself was stretching and stretching, taking everything within it along for the ride. Cosmic inflation played a massive role in shaping the large-scale structure of the universe. It smoothed out irregularities, homogenized the distribution of matter and energy, and set the stage for the subsequent formation of galaxies, stars, and other cosmic structures. As the universe continued to expand, the rate of expansion gradually slowed down. But with this information, it's important to note that even though the initial period of cosmic inflation ended, the universe continued to expand at a measurable rate. This ongoing expansion is known as the expansion of the universe or cosmic expansion. Scientists have observed the effects of this expansion through various observations, such as the redshift of light from distant galaxies. The redshift indicates that as the universe expands, light waves get stretched and shift towards longer wavelengths, shifting them towards the red end of the spectrum. We'll get into the details of this later on in the video. At first glance, the images of the new galaxies that were taken by the JWST look absolutely breathtaking. In a good way, you can see hundreds of galaxies all in the same frame, and the sheer power in the photos is something you just can't ignore. 
but that's what things look like to the average person. For researchers, things are the total opposite. These pictures are surprising, to say the least. They don't match what scientists thought they would see based on their theories. In fact, they're seeing way more galaxies than expected, and these galaxies are different in some surprising ways. They're smooth, smaller than imagined, and really old. All these surprises are causing a bit of a panic among the scientists. One paper even starts with the word panic in its title, so you know things are serious. The galaxies look nothing like what they're supposed to. The age of the observed galaxies seems to be incredibly strange. Here, the JWST observations indicate the presence of galaxies that appear to be unexpectedly old. This challenges the expected timeline of galaxy formation and evolution within the framework of the Big Bang Theory. Plus, there's also the fact that the abundance of observed galaxies is a lot higher than what was supposed to be. The Big Bang hypothesis predicts a certain distribution and density of galaxies based on the expansion and evolution of the universe, but the JWST images show a massive number of galaxies, which raises questions about the accuracy of the predictions made by the hypothesis. There's also the fact that the smoothness of these galaxies is totally unexpected. The Big Bang theory suggests that galaxies should exhibit irregularity and variations in their structures due to the dynamics of their formation and evolution. However, the JWST images reveal galaxies that appear unusually smooth, lacking the expected level of complexity and roughness which is what you'd normally expect to see according to the Big Bang nucleosynthesis theory. While the expansion was happening, we basically had all the stuff that makes up our universe squeezed into an incredibly small volume. It was clear that matter could not survive in space like this, so something had to give. As the universe expanded and cooled down, transformations took place. Particles such as protons, neutrons, and electrons began to interact with light and energy in their surroundings. These interactions played a pivotal role in shaping the formation of matter in the universe. During the first few minutes after the Big Bang, there was a process called nucleosynthesis. This process involved the creation of lightweight elements like hydrogen and helium. The extreme temperatures and energy during this phase allowed for the fusion of protons and neutrons to form these simple atomic building blocks. Hydrogen, the simplest and most abundant element in the universe, was formed primarily during this early period. Helium, the second most abundant element, also emerged during this time. These elements were instrumental in setting the stage for the formation of stars, galaxies, and more complex elements that would come later in cosmic history. The synthesis of these elemental building blocks was a significant milestone in the evolution of the universe. From a primordial sea of particles and energy, the early universe transitioned into a state where matter actually began to take shape. This process laid the foundation for the rich diversity of matter and the vast cosmic structures that eventually came into being. Now, the Big Bang theorists themselves anticipated observing galaxies that were mangled and scrambled due to multiple collisions. However, the JWST images present a different story. Instead of chaotic and disheveled galaxies, the images reveal overwhelmingly smooth disks and well-organized spiral forms resembling the galaxies we see in the present-day universe. This unexpected observation challenges the notion that mergers are a common process in the evolution of galaxies because it's clear that these new galaxies haven't gone through any of the hardships that you'd normally expect if you were following the Big Bang Theory. If there are actually just a few or no mergers happening out there, it becomes implausible for tiny galaxies to grow and become hundreds of times larger. This implies that these galaxies were never originally tiny to begin with. Along with it, the optical illusion predicted by the expanding universe hypothesis where objects appear smaller with increasing distance due to expansion also doesn't exist. As astronomers have meticulously observed and mapped the cosmos, they have discovered a striking pattern the clustering of galaxies, and the overall structure of the universe. Galaxies tend to congregate together in vast groups, clusters, and superclusters, forming intricate networks that extend across the cosmos. This observed large-scale structure aligns with the predictions made by the Big Bang Theory. According to the theory, the universe began as an incredibly dense and hot state, and over time it expanded and cooled. As the universe expanded, Gravity played a pivotal role in shaping the distribution of matter and the formation of galaxies. The gravitational effects predicted by the Big Bang Theory are consistent with what we observe today. Gravity draws matter together, 
causing galaxies to cluster in certain regions and form filamentary structures that connect them. These structures reveal the cosmic web-like pattern of the universe. The presence of these galaxy clusters and the interconnected web of matter provides strong support for the Big Bang theory. The formation of galaxies and their distribution across the universe aligns with the gravitational effects expected from the initial dense and expanding state posited by the theory. When you take another look at the size of the galaxies the James Webb Space Telescope found, you can really see how the images portray a completely opposite reality to what we've always thought was our reality. According to Big Bang theorists, these tiny galaxies grow and evolve into the larger galaxies we observe today through a process of collisions and mergers. To make it easier to think about this hypothetical scenario, you can think about the individual galaxies as a collection of stars and dark matter that are kept together by gravity. In this situation, when two galaxies come into close contact with one another, their gravitational fields interact with one another and rearrange the stars and gas within the galaxies. If the galaxies actually collided, the merger would result in the formation of new stars and increase the size of the newly combined galaxy. We call this process of merging galaxy galactic nucleosynthesis, and, and, according to the Big Bang Theory, it is believed that these small galaxies would have undergone numerous mergers over billions of years to form the large, spiral, and elliptical galaxies that we see today. However, the galaxies observed by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, challenge this idea. The galaxies discovered by the telescope are surprisingly small, smooth, and seemingly old, defying the expectations set by the Big Bang Theory. The images captured by the JWST reveal a population of galaxies that are much smaller and smoother than anticipated, raising questions about the validity of the current cosmological models. The origin and evolution of these galaxies appear to contradict the predictions made by the Big Bang Theory, which posits that galaxies should evolve through mergers and collisions over time. In contrast to the chaotic and irregular structures expected from galactic mergers, the galaxies observed by the JWST exhibit well-defined, smooth shapes reminiscent of modern galaxies. This unexpected discovery challenges our understanding of how galaxies form and evolve within the framework of the Big Bang Theory. Furthermore, the age of these newly discovered galaxies is also perplexing. The JWST observations suggest that these galaxies formed much earlier in cosmic history than previously thought possible. This discovery raises fundamental questions about the timeline of galaxy formation and the processes that govern the evolution of the universe. Scientists are now grappling with the implications of these findings and are working to revise existing theories to accommodate the new observations. The discovery made by the JWST has opened up new avenues of research and has sparked a renewed interest in understanding the early universe and the formation of galaxies. In summary, the images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope challenge the prevailing theories of cosmology, particularly the Big Bang Theory, by revealing a population of unexpectedly small, smooth, and old galaxies. These findings highlight the dynamic nature of scientific inquiry and the continual evolution of our understanding of the universe. As scientists delve deeper into these mysteries, they are sure to uncover more surprises and further refine our cosmic narrative. The discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, have ignited a spirited debate among cosmologists and astrophysicists regarding the fundamental theories that govern our understanding of the universe. One of the most striking aspects of the JWST's observations is the sheer number and diversity of galaxies it has unveiled. These galaxies not only challenge existing models of galaxy formation but also raise intriguing questions about the underlying physics and processes at play during the early epochs of the universe. One of the key puzzles presented by the JWST's findings is the nature of galaxy morphology. Unlike the irregular and fragmented galaxies predicted by the hierarchical merging model of galaxy formation, the JWST images reveal galaxies with remarkably smooth and ordered structures. This unexpected discovery suggests that alternative mechanisms, perhaps involving more gradual and less violent processes, may have shaped these galaxies over cosmic time. Moreover, the age distribution of the galaxies observed by JWST poses another conundrum. Some of these galaxies appear to be much older than anticipated, challenging the conventional timeline of galaxy evolution. This discrepancy implies that our current understanding of the early stages of galaxy formation may need significant revision to accommodate these new observations. 
The James Webb Space Telescope's ability to detect and analyze galaxies at unprecedented distances and resolutions has also shed light on the diversity of stellar populations within these galaxies. By studying the colors and spectra of distant galaxies, astronomers can infer valuable information about the age, composition, and star-forming history of these cosmic entities. The JWST's observations have revealed a rich tapestry of star formation activities across different epochs, providing clues to the underlying processes driving galaxy evolution. Furthermore, the JWST's infrared capabilities have allowed scientists to probe deeper into the cosmic past than ever before, unveiling galaxies that existed when the universe was only a fraction of its current age. These ancient galaxies provide a window into the formative stages of cosmic evolution and offer insights into the conditions that prevailed during the early epochs of the universe. In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope has revolutionized our understanding of galaxy formation and evolution by challenging established theories and unveiling a wealth of new discoveries. The observations made by the JWST have raised fundamental questions about the mechanisms driving galaxy morphology the timeline of galaxy formation, and the nature of cosmic evolution itself. As scientists continue to analyze and interpret these groundbreaking observations, we can expect further insights that will reshape our cosmic narrative and deepen our understanding of the universe's origins and evolution.